So, Glenn, a very uh, good result and performance against a good South End team. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a great result. We lost, but um, no, I thought the performance, which is is all important at the moment, the performance was was good. Um, I felt one or two things in the first half. Uh, you know, we wasn't into the habits that I want us to be in, which is important. Uh, but I felt second half we were we were much better, and um, we had, you know we had some good opportunities. But as I say, the, the important thing for myself at the moment uh, is the fact that players are applying themselves properly. They've got the desire. And uh, you know they're moulding into the team that I want them to be and how I want them to play. Yeah, and at this time of season, obviously a lot of players um, come and go through as trialists. Um, any outstanding individual performances today at all? Well, to be honest, I thought it was a good team performance. I thought Jamie Ham was excellent, especially second half. I thought he played very well. He hit some, hit some great balls. Um, I was pleased with uh, Mark Haynes. Mark Haynes, young boy, come on, played centre half, second half. Uh, because uh, one of our new signers, Simon Clough, has injured his neck, which is unfortunate, but I thought he did very well. Uh, but, you know, all in all, I thought it was a good all-round team performance. Yeah. And obviously the, de the deciding factor of the, uh, the game was the goal. Were you disappointed with the defending for that one? Yeah, very much so. I mean, we, we've, we've spoken about that, that, uh, you know, we don't want to give sloppy goals away. We give away a lot of them sort of last year. And, and that was highlighted again today. But hopefully, uh, you know, I've nipped that in the bud. I want to make sure, you know, in no uncertain terms, that, you know, the players know what's expected of them. You can't, in a phase of play, you can't work for three quarters of that phase. You've got to make sure you see it out. And uh, you make sure the danger's averted from your goal. And unfortunately, we didn't do that. Um, and and the, the bottom line is it ends up in the back of our net, which was obviously disappointing from our point of view. Um, but they're the sort of things you iron out pre-season. And an example of the fantastic defending towards the end was that save from, from Craig Holloway. Were you, uh, were you pleased to see him uh, make that save? Yes, yeah, very much so. I mean, Craig's a, um, a goalkeeper I've tracked most of the summer. We've been speaking most of the summer. And, um, you know, I, I know what a good goalkeeper is. He played ever so well against us last year when he was at Braintree. And I, I know he'll be a, a great acquisition to our squad. Um, and he, he just proved that today. He made uh, certainly in, in that, that particular save. Fantastic one. He, but even from, from the goal, he made a good save from the goal and it ended up being a tap-in. But uh, he still made a good save there. So, yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's, he's doing exactly what I expect him to do because he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah. And signing's coming thick and fast now. Are you, are you hoping for a good season? Yeah, always. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're, we're not here to make up any numbers. We know that. Um, obviously, we know that the, the budget's been cut. Uh, but so as most clubs, and we're, we're dealing with that as as uh, as a whole. And, and I'm very, very pleased with the people I've uh, managed to, to get on board so far. You know, it's a, it's a work in pro progress, as they say. And I'm, I'm still looking to, to other players and, and hopefully keep strengthening the squad as we go along. But uh, as it is at the moment, I'm very, very pleased with the, with the players I've assembled. And uh, I think you can see from the last two games, I'm sure people can see from the Stevenage and the South End game, the desire and the appetite's there. And the application has been spot on from the players. Thank you very much. So Mansell, brand new season. Uh, you ready to kick off and uh, very optimistic? Very optimistic. Uh, Glenn has put a wonderful team together. We've got a mixture of balance of youth and experience. Uh, there are still more players to come in and uh, we are looking very, very hard at some, uh, some more strikers, uh, but they've got to be at the right price. Um, it's very much uh, important this year. We've got to work within that budget. We have done a little bit of fine tuning for Jeff and uh, Glenn and giving them a little bit more money to play with. You can't really clip his wings and expect him to fly, but we're very, very optimistic this year. In fact, more optimistic than we were last year. I'm amazed. Um, a lot of work gone into the, the elite system of youths and uh, the community work over the summer. Uh, have you got any news there at all? Well, it, it's an ongoing uh, programme. I mean, the, the elite structure is going fantastic. They all start their trials uh, this coming week and uh, their training. We're, we're very, very hopeful that from that system we will be producing homegrown players. But of course, it's not going to happen overnight. We're probably looking at a four or five year programme to get the fruits of what we're doing now because the, the lads coming through are 18 and you you don't really get to this level much until you're 19, 20 if you're lucky, you know. So a lot of the lads coming through we're working on now, 14, 15 year olds. And, and hopefully going hand in hand with that community work, um, some nice healthy attendances for this year or, as well and, uh, and hopefully getting some more, some more volunteers. Well, yes, we're hoping that the attendances raise and uh, obviously the bigger attendances you get, the more you can do on the pitch as well as off the pitch. But of course, the more people that come, the more work involved and all the time we're looking for more volunteers to help. Uh, they do a tremendous job here. It's something we don't pay a penny for. It's a free attendance. They'll get a pint and a, and a roll at half time. But, you know, it's just being part of the team and feeling part of Chelsea City. We've got plenty of good, go, good things going on off the pitch uh, in terms of commercial activity and uh, I guess the question on the lips at the moment of the supporters is, is the new kit, when's it coming out and uh, who's the sponsor? 
The new sponsor I can't tell you, except all I can say it will be very exciting when it's announced. It is a big sponsor, it's somebody who is already very heavily involved in sponsorship within football um, with a big premier, uh, premier team and we will also be their other sponsor at the other end of the uh, pyramid. Um, the kit will be into the country at the end of July and we will be launching it with the introduction of our sponsor on the 4th of August, 10 o'clock here at the stadium. Brilliant. So it all sounds like good news. You uh, looking forward to the first game? I can't wait. I can't wait for the season to start, quite honestly. I think all of us on the board feel exactly the same. Obviously, we know a lot more about what's going on with regards to team moves and what's going on off the pitch with the council and things like this. And the future is very, very good for Chelsea City.